This is the guitar lesson for Grand Funk Railroads. I'm your captain, closer to your home, okay, or closer to my home. Who's ever home, okay? So, guitar, standard E tuning. All right, now let's go over the little intro, all right? So, make, this song is in the key of D. So what I want you to do is I want you to take your middle finger, put it on the second fret G string. Take your ring finger, put that on the third fret B string. Then take your pointer finger and put it right behind your ring finger on the same B string on the first fret and leave this guy open, the E open, okay? So the intro goes like this. All right, we play that twice and that's the intro. So have your fingers where I told you to put them and then you wanna down pluck the D string, up pluck the B. All right, you're hitting your ring finger right now. Take your ring finger off, down pluck the B again, up pluck the B again, you're hitting your pointer finger. Now down pluck the D for a third time, up pluck it, and your B string should be open. Okay, so we have. All right, now we have a hammer on pull off type of deal. Pluck the G string open and hammer on with your middle finger on the second, uh, second fret on the G string. So we go. Now we're going to pluck the B string open and we're going to do a hammer on pull off on the first fret. So, all right, so we should have this. All right, now that's the first time through. The second time through, we're doing the same thing. The, but where the hammer on pull off was, it changes a little bit. We're going to still hammer on on the second fret G string, but we're going to take our pointer finger and put that on the first fret, and we're going to slide up to the third, okay? So, and then we do it all over again one more time. and then it goes into the song, okay? The bass comes in and does kind of a, a little walk down of some, of some scales, and then we have the guitar just does this D, then C at nine, D, C at nine. C at nine is like a G, just move it two string, um, just move these guys one string down, okay? So here they are, one string down, all right? So D, C at nine. Alright, it does that for a while, and then finally it goes into the meat of the song, which is the... Everybody. So, okay. So, it's D and C at 9, just like it was before, but there's a kind of uh, intricate strumming pattern there, okay? I'll play it really slow so you can see it, and I'll try to go over it with you and, and name out the down strums and up strums. Sometimes I get confused, but we'll try it anyways, okay? So we have... So down, up, down, and then we do an upstroke with our middle finger off of that D shape, and then we do an upstroke with it back on, so we have a D, and then we take our pinky and put that on the third fret E string. And then we do cat nine, we go. So up, up, down, up, down, up. Okay, so up, up, down, up, down, up on the C at nine. So we go down, up, down, down, up, down, D sus two, upstroke, D upstroke. Then we put our pinky on and make a D sus four. And then we go. Okay, so. And that, my friends, is how a strumming pattern is born. So, that's the strumming pattern for the majority of the song, all right? And then it gets into a part, it's kind of like an interlude, all right? And what that is, is it stops, it ends on D after that whole little strumming pattern we just talked about. And then it goes into a D minor, B flat, D minor, B flat, D minor, B flat.
back into this. So D and, and C at nine. And then eventually, after a couple more times of that, we get back into the. All right, at the end of the song, when it goes in, I'm getting closer to my home, all it is is the same thing that we've been talking about. It's just D, and then C at nine. You're gonna hear some seagulls and stuff in the background on the original recording. And D, C at nine, and then it picks up and just goes. Basically, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. It's a really basic strumming pattern at the end, so not too hard of a song. Make sure to subscribe, like, comment, and also add me on, follow me on Twitter, and I will see you guys on the next guitar lesson. Thanks, guys.